Hi everybody, this is Melissa with the Venice Arts Crawl and we are here at Nicholas Soren Goodich Studios in downtown Los Angeles today and that's some of his artwork that you see behind me. And now I'm going to flip the camera around and we're going to go in and visit his studios and we are practicing social distancing. So masks up, social distancing folks and let's get to it. Let's go see some great art and meet a really, really cool artist. All right, give a little knock on the door. Nicholas. Hey. Hey, Melissa from the Venice Art there. Crawl. We're hey, here. You, you know what, I think we're six, we're plus six okay. feet, so if you Let's wanna take the it. mask off so my, everybody right. can hear you, I'll just keep a distance. And, okay. and thank you so much for having us over at your studio today. And we're, we're happy to meet you. And uh, what would you like to tell us about you? I know you just came back to LA. And you've uh, been in Venice before. Yeah, yeah. I, I was up in San Francisco for a year, and uh, I was also finishing my degree in Virginia at Virginia Commonwealth University for two years. Oh, wow. Now, I understand you're, um, you are a printmaker as well as a painter, right? Do you want to tell I us a little all, bit about your medium? All these paintings, they look like paintings, but they're prints. So I work on plexiglass, layers of plexiglass that are sandwiched together and printed from one another. And I'll show you a little bit exactly what I mean later, but... Uh, so when you look at each painting, like, check these out. This is a triptych. Uh, there's a bottom layer where there's the purple, and there's the next layer where there's this metallic silver, then there's this white, then there's this red, and then there's this brown. So there's six, seven, eight layers. And as you, you know, go right into the work itself, you can really see how there's layers below and above. And then it's on plexiglass, so there's these reflections. And I love how the real world interrupts and gets into the painting. So you've got these layers of painted information, but then you've got this reflective, also mirroring and changing layers as well. So it becomes very complicated. You know, if you look at this big one here behind you, medium-sized one, you can probably wow. see me in the reflection waving my arm, right? Yeah, hello there, right. hello there. People and there's the so many world. depths. As you get closer and closer to it, you can see the depths that the art. Hey, I, I thank you. I hope that this obviously. Uh, now, how did you come by this technique? How did you create it? Well, and honestly, I, I, I just fell in love with the idea 25 years ago, uh, uh, and it turns out that it's partly based. On a, one of what was one of my favorite movies. Okay, it's called Teo Rima by Pier Paolo Pasolini, Italian director. And I didn't remember this, but I watched the movie like 15 years later after I had first seen it and loved it. And the actor, one of the son of the family, paints on plexiglass. Now he's not the only like artist out there or idea of an artist in that case who's painted on plexiglass. So like Picasso did a movie where he painted on glass, right? I mean, he didn't make it. It was made by someone else. But so, the idea of of paint printed on glass, but it was something that you know I've discovered when I was very young. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's take a tour around your gallery and talk about some pieces and what inspired you. This is a pretty moving. This is a set. I take it. Is this right? A diptych. Yeah. Most of these are diptychs. Why don't you step up next to the painting and tell us a little bit about it? Well, this one involves this idea of there being a single person here. I know it's a very abstract form. Mm -hmm. This single person here, and then this other person here. The whole series is called inverted or double inverted portraits. So maybe this is the same person, right? I, I often think about how upside down the world is. I mean, that's just a term or a silly term, right? But that... I always think that uh, <laughs> that things that seem and appear and feel one way are often the other way. There's a lot of paradox and complexity to how we are as people. So, but this could also just be two people, and the way they connect is like a puzzle, right? Which is also like kind of like love. But then the same people over here are they one person? Are they combined? Is that like? And it looks like it could be several people, right. really. And, and, but is it monstrous? Is it beautiful? Is it... Okay, so like this, the idea of Cyclops is a monster, right? Cyclopses are a monster. But the, you could see the same kind of image 
used in Greek or Cambodian mythology and theology uh, where it's sacred. It's like a deity. So that's kind of what I mean, part of what I mean when I say paradox. So there's these paradoxes, and then how do I reveal the paradoxes? So like this upside down face, two faces that are upside down. Now how do you do a, such a large, I mean both these are quadrant pieces, but they're large. This is amazing, it's beautiful work. Thank you so much. You wanna tell us a little bit about how you do that? <laughs> this is- Carefully. That's, yeah. <laughs> Very carefully. <laughs> right. Um, We'll take a step back and take a look over it, and then we're going to come around so everybody can enjoy it. Now we'll walk up over here and get a good side view of it. So how heavy are these, too? I mean, this can't be easy at all to manage when you're painting and moving. Yeah, and the, like, the one that you started off seeing, which we'll end with as well, that's also a big one. Great. Is they there are heavy. You know, do you have any links showing how you do this? I do. That, okay. Yeah, there's a movie. You can see the link on my Instagram. Okay. Yeah. Check out your Instagram posts on uh, Venice Arts Facebook page and Venice Arts Instagram, folks, if you want to see how he's doing this. Yeah, there's a movie that this amazing local filmmaker, Eric Min Swenson, he's made like 1,500 arts movies. Amazing. He made this uh, movie of my studio up in San Francisco, and it's on my it, uh, it's on YouTube. It's on. It's on Eric Min Swenson. Oh, great! So that's Eric Min M I N H Swenson. People great. know about him. He's amazing. Okay, thank you for sharing. Now, what about this uh, piece here? Can you tell us a little well, bit about this? This one's in progress. Okay. Uh, I just did this. I love this weird, uh, almost like electrical, but almost like sculptural. Uh, the way these patterns overlay, they're the same kind of pattern, but mm -hmm. at first, I don't know, I'm still figuring it out. I just made this yesterday. This and part. you can invert all of these pieces, right? So yeah. that you can actually mix them up. Yes, and I do that as I try to figure out what their final state is, mm -hmm. which is not always obvious. So this is kind of fun for an art household. It means that they could change their some, their views all, all on the piece of art. are free to do that. I've discovered, right. I've worked as an art installer for many years, so I understand people have made those kind of decisions. That's great. What is now? What's going on over here, by the way? Is this so? This is like one I'm working on. I don't know how it's going to come out, but you can see the way the layers are. Oh. How you can potentially combine them, have different look. Like I love that. Right. Oh, that's really beautiful. Look at that, folks. Look at the texture. Wow. And so as you you combine them, so you figure yeah. out your process, and then right. you mount them. And then they're, they're, they're epoxy oh. together. Okay. There we go. Wow. Look and at the colors. They're applied to the surface. And there you go. See that? Wow. But these are in process, so who okay. knows? They could come out 20 different ways. They could be changed. They will be changed. All right. So there, and that's the, you start off with it plain like this, and yeah. then you add your layers with the theme in mind? No. There's tools, all this the paint. Tools. <laughs> all right. So tell us a little bit about this piece here. You tell me. I want to know what you see. You know, I, I, I it's really interesting because I think it's like representing someone with a look towards the future mm. or a projection of what vision they would like of the future while someone mm. behind them is looking to the past mm -hmm. to either project on that or possibly drawing from the past to project into the future. How this has got a lot it, of depth. I love, I love that you said that. How does it change if you do this? Ooh. Oh, wow. Wow, this could, this is this is an interesting move on this one. So, I think for something like this, it could be how two people are very upside down on their thoughts and they're trying to share them, or they're arguing, possibly, mm. or mm. they're doing a mind meld for for sharing their thoughts right. for maybe a better future. Or but you see to, how totally abstract it, it is. It like, that if, you, if you only saw that, right, and you hadn't seen any of the other pieces, I don't think you'd really say, "Oh, that's a face." Yeah. 
Yeah, well, you know I, I mean? notice it's a face, but... but well, that's... But, right. But you hear what I'm saying? It's because we just looked at all the works that have a face. That's true. Very more... Much more clearly, there's a face that shows up. This is very abstract. So, but then you turn to this, totally abstract. Right. This is definitely... Now, it but, feels like a but, cell to me. Well, yeah, there's some organic... Yeah. Look at this, organic folks. Stuff. Look at the layers and the depth that he he gets going on this for you to experience... Mm -hmm. Great. And can you do that to this canvas here too? I could. Nicholas, so so again. <laughs> oh no, that's no, okay, you don't have to. You no, don't, no, no, I just love not. showing people yeah, yeah. how versatile your I'm art so is. Crazy. It's really, really amazing. Look at that, folks. Wow. Wow. This is really, really creative. So, Nicholas, how long have you been doing this particular series with faces for you? I've been working on this since about a year and a couple months. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Year, a year and a month. Yeah. And I had an exhibition in Venice at the Startup Art Fair. That was in February, right before COVID hit. Oh. A solo show with... Uh, it was a, a very cool. It went very well. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I take it you're probably going to host some mixers here sometime in the near future. If once yeah. we once we combat and kick COVID's ass, that yes. we can all come here and appreciate yes. your art. But people can still catch you online, right? Yeah, it's, and, it's nicholasgoodich.com, N-I-K-O-L-A-S-G-O-O-D-I-C-H. You, you can find him on Instagram, and you can find him on Facebook. You can reach out to him. You, you can do. make it. Now, can people call you to come down here? And, of course. And take a look at your pieces and Absolutely. talk to you about buying them? Yeah, of course. All right. <laughs> so did you hear that, folks? If there's anything in this gallery that you've seen that you would like to see up close, please reach out and contact Nicholas directly. And um, Nicholas did... Hang on, let's get us together in this scene. How about if we go um, visit your artwork on the outside, yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Switching back around. All right. So, Nicholas, why don't you go stand over there so I can end on that and you tell us about this piece. Well, the video we were talking about shows me building, making this piece, part of making this piece. Uh, How big are these canvases? Just uh, both of them? 60 by 120. Oh, wow. 60 by 120, folks. Did you hear that? Big canvas. All right. So, this is the piece that was filmed in the movie. And how long did it take you to assemble it? Whoa. Was it a series of over months of to figuring yeah. out what layer you wanted? Paintings always take at least months, sometimes right. longer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a process to see how to... Yeah, well, you do something, you look at it, you let it breathe, figure out what it means, how it feels. You can't determine exactly how long that's going to be. And then as you do these different layers, you know, these layers, there's stuff underneath that you can't see, right? Right. So I, part of how my process has to work is that I feel how the one layer completely changes the other layer, right? Because the meaning, the meaning of the work has a lot to do with the way parts of reality obscure other parts of reality, how difficult it is sometimes to see what's really going on. A lot of different uh, ideas like that. <laughs> well, great. All right, again, folks. Hey, Nicholas, thank, thank you for you. opening up your gallery and your uh, studio you. to us. This is beautiful work. And again, let's take one quick peek in before we all sign off on Venice Art Crawl. So come on down to downtown and check out a Venice artist that has been doing some amazing large pieces of work in plexiglass and painter, printmaker. Nicholas Soren Goodich, so please come out and visit. Bye, y'all.